Bam! What up YouTube? Guys, welcome to Stock Sign. And today, for today's video guys, we're not going to talk about stocks. We're about to talk about real estate. About what's going on in real estate guys. It's kind of really scary. Kind of really scary. It's not as scary I guess if you're a homeowner and you already own a home. But guys, the market is just to the roof. Prices are increasing really, really, really fast guys. And we're going to talk about is it about to crash or not? I personally think, guys, that it will not crash. The, st the um, real estate market, I don't think will crash. It's going through the roof. It's rising really, really fast. But here's the thing. We're going to base ourselves on some real data, guys. We're going to look at certain things. And first thing that we're going to look at, at is numbers from Black Knight, guys, that just came out. We got some numbers, some real data that just came out from Black Knight. So let's take a look at it, guys. And as you guys could see, the national delinquency on loans rate has fell from five per, from six percent down to five percent which means people are not defaulting on their loans and this is why i don't see the market crashing because what happened in 08 guys is people were defaulting on their loans foreclosures were going through the roof people could not pay their mortgages and it all made sense well the problem is right now people are not defaulting on their loans because of the new laws they're pretty much protecting homeowners, which will make it really hard for the stock market to crash. So three main things really going on. Three main things. People do not want to go to work anymore. They want to work from home. So home values are going up. And especially if you're outside of cities, people are realizing they do not need to stay in cities in order to make money anymore. They don't have to. They could do it from home. That is going on. Second, guys, there's a new law for Barrensaw. If you guys have not heard of it, you can pretty much, we're gonna explain this very, very basic and I'm gonna shoot you guys a video that explains it a little bit better, but you don't have to pay your loan for a whole year, pretty much. If you're a homeowner, you can put your loan on pause for a full year, thanks to forbearance law, which makes it that you do not have to default on your loan because you don't have to pay your loan for a full year. So let's look at the numbers, guys, a little bit. And guys, look at what is going on if you look at the number of loan from Black Knight, this, these are data that just come out from Black Knight, guys, from this current month. The current numbers of loans that are past due on 30 days is about at 2.6 million. 2.6 million. So a lot of people are still not paying the loan. That's a lot of people. And then the number of properties that are 90 days or more past due on their loan is, is 1.9 million. So almost 2 million. So if you do the math, guys, that's over 4 million homes where people are not paying their mortgage. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You would think that it could make the, the stock market crash, but no. No, it's not because of the forbearance law. So we're going to look at this, guys. I'm going to show you guys this right now. This little video. And this is the new CARES Act mortgage, guys, and what it does, the forbearance law. And what well, we all need to know about it. So let's take a look at this real quick. And um, this is very informative. Manages your loan or lender allows you to pause or reduce your payments for a limited period of time. This is just does insane. Not erase what you owe. You will and it's not fair if you don't own a home for at least. It really is not. Future. So if you are able to keep up with your payments, keep making them. If your mortgage is backed by the federal government, this includes FHA. VA, USDA, Fannie Mae, and now this pretty much includes every single loan. 90% of the loans that are out there are included in here. Allow you to temporarily suspend payments if you are experiencing financial difficulty due to the impact of the coronavirus on your which every homeowner in America could say that they are impacted at this point by the coronavirus. So this is just insane because this CARE Act really is for every single homeowner because everyone could say they're affected right now. Loan servicers may also have forbearance or deferment options for non-government backed or private loans, but the exact options available to you may differ. Here's how this works. For so even, so this says that even if your loan is not backed up, which includes 95% of the loans really out there, you still have options. There's still option out there. You just need to call your lender really and they'll work with you. Federally backed mortgages under the CARES Act. If you are experiencing financial hardship due to the coronavirus pandemic, you have a right to request forbearance for up to forbearance for up to 180 days. days. But listen to this. Right to listen to this. Extension for up to an additional 180 days. 
So for a whole year, guys, this means for an additional, so 360 days, guys, because you can add a, an extension, 360 days, you do not have to pay your mortgage. You can still rent your house. You don't have to pay the mortgage. You can still make money. It's free money. Free money for a whole year for any homeowner, really. You must contact your loan servicer to request this forbearance. There won't be any additional fees, penalties, or interest added to your account. But your Did you guys hear that? There won't be any penalties, interest, or fees added to your account. Free money for a whole year. If you can't pay your loan, you don't have to. So this is why, guys, let's go back. Let's go back to the Black Knight's data, guys, real data. And how are these four million loans that should be defaulting really soon? How are they supposed to default if they have a whole year not to pay? A full year. Now this is not over. This it gets even better. If you're a homeowner, guys, things get even better. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Quick update on the CARES Act. It says, since the video that we just watched was released, federal regulators have made it clear that if you receive a forbearance under the CARES Act, your mortgage servicer cannot require you to repay your skip payments in a lump sum once a forbearance period ends. Also, Wait times for most call centers have ease. We encourage you to go. No, no, no. So pretty much what this means. They can't ask you to pay everything in one time. So now they're talking about extending mortgage to 40 years under the same rates. And remember, they, there's no fees added, no interest change, no nothing. So if you're locked in at a very interest at a very low interest rate, because right now the interest rate is record low, you're good. You're good. I don't see how the market could crash. It really, I cannot see it crashing because I could see it calming down because at some point people are not making money. So at some point people will not be able to afford the loans anymore. No one will qualify at some point, but you can't lose your home if you already have it. So how is it going to crash? The only reason why it would crash is if everyone starts going into foreclosure and then it would put more houses in the inventory on the market. But right now guys, People are not about to lose at their home. The inventory in the housing market is about on average 40% lower than what it should be. There's nothing to buy. There's still people that have money out there. There's people that are throwing cash offers right now. Um, and they're guaranteed that they're not gonna default on their loan. The interest rate is really low. You can borrow money for a very, very low price. I can see the market stagnating, maybe staying where it is, Maybe a saw, saw small, small decline happening within maybe the next six months to a year. For the next six months, I don't see how anything could change really. I think it's going to get crazier and crazier for the next six months really. And maybe we'll see a little break after that. I don't see things changing unless the laws change guys because... I mean, even the mortgage default uh, rate is going down. It went down this month. This went this month. It went from six percent to five percent, which is a sixteen percent decline. So I don't see things changing. I don't see things changing anytime soon. It's just, it's a rough market. Things are changing fast. Its prices are just going up to the moon. But the laws are there to protect the homeowners, guys. So it's not going to change. I don't see things changing anytime soon. It's pretty much right now, if you have money, put it in the stock market. I would not touch a real estate right now. Uh, I was actually thinking about it, but I don't think uh, right now is a good call. If you already have a home and you're trying to pull equity out of the home, it might be really hard to buy, but it could be a good move. Could still be a good move. I just don't see price going down. 2008 will not happen, guys. What happened back in the 2008 is people were defaulting on their loan left and right they couldn't there was no loss to protect the loans you you were not paying your mortgage you were losing your house it's not going to happen right now you can you can extend it to 40 years you can extend your mortgage 40 years no added fees no added interest no added to nothing you're good and you don't even have to pay your mortgage for a full year thanks to the beautiful laws going on thanks to the new cares act on the mortgage so guys i hope you enjoyed this video I'm no professional, guys. I'm no financial advisor. This is me, my personal opinion, doing my personal research. But guys, put down in the comments what you guys think is going to happen. This is really weird. A lot of people saying it's just going to keep skyrocketing. A lot of people saying we're about, to, we're about to go through a really big crash. 
If you look at the numbers, I just don't see it happening. If you can explain to me why you think it will happen, put it down in the comment. That would be really, really um, enlightful and good to know. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have an awesome uh, Sunday and next video back on the stock market, guys, on Monday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, guys.